This evergreen world is full of varieties of trees. There are many ways to classify them, such as avenue trees, garden trees, forest trees, medicinal trees and so on. Some of the common trees that we come across are mango, neem, people, banyan, cheer, devdar, mahua, palash, gulmohar, amaltas, etc. A big tall plant with a woody stem and a rough bark branching at the top with leaves at the end of its twigs is called a tree. A tree is more than 3 meters tall. There are some exceptions to this common definition of trees. Palms do not branch at all, even though they are trees. In other words, it can be said that all trees are perennial, woody plants with a single, well-developed trunk, branching some distance above the ground. The types of trees vary according to the habitat and climate of the area. Trees of hilly areas are different from those in a desert. The flame of the forest is a small to medium sized deciduous tree. It is indigenous to India and found throughout the country scattered in grasslands, jungles and wastelands. The leaves are three-lobed, large, rough textured and conspicuously swollen at the base. It is leafless in North India from January to March. The tree bears bright, flaming orange flowers with black, cup-like calyx. The flowers form a gorgeous canopy on the upper portion of the tree, which looks like a flame in the beginning of hot weather. Hence, it is commonly called flame of the forest. The pod of the fruit is one seeded. The ripe pods are very light and found scattered far and wide in the dry months with the wind. The flame of the forest is also known as palash or dhak. The Hindi proverb dhak ke teen par comes from its three leaflets. In Gujarati, it is also known as tesu or khakra. Botanically, it is called butia monosperma. The term monosperma means one seeded. This tree belongs to the family Papilionaceae. The flowers of this family are papilionaceous, that is, butterfly shaped. Palash is used for the cultivation of lac insect. Its glossy, ruby red gum is commercially known as Bengal Kino. It is a powerful astringent and used medicinally in the treatment of chronic diarrhea. The leaves of palash are made into platters and cups. Young leaves are eaten by elephants and buffaloes. The flowers yield a sweet scented orange color that is used in the festival of colors Holi in many parts of the country. The tree is one of the common feed plants of the common emigrant and the pea blue species of butterflies. The flowering tree attracts many birds. They visit it for the nectar in the flowers. Parrots, minas and sunbirds can be seen feeding on the flowers. The silk cotton is a tall deciduous tree with wide spreading branches. It reaches up to a height of 25 meters. The bark in young stages is covered with sharp, conical prickles which keeps this tree safe from herbivores. The leaves are large, bright green, stiff in texture with 5 to 7 leaflets. The leaves remain on the tree for the greater part of the year. This quality makes it one of the best shade trees in India.
the silk cotton tree sheds its leaves towards the end of January and begins flowering from February onwards. Its flowers are large, bright crimson colored or red. It comes into flower when the tree is completely leafless. Flowers appear in very large numbers. There are very few trees in the world which can compete with it for its beauty. The fruit is roughly egg-shaped, 10 to 15 centimeters long, filled with white silk cotton inside. Its popular name, silk cotton, comes from the silky cotton-like fiber covering its black seeds. In Hindi, it is known as semal. It is also called Indian Kapok. It has been described under the name of Bombax malabaricum, Salmalia malabarica and Bombax seba. The generic name Bombax refers to cotton obtained from its seeds and the second name Salmalia refers to Sanskrit Salmali or Shalmali. The tree is a member of the family Bombacasi. It is believed that the Hindu god of creation Brahma rested under this tree after the creation of the world. It is a very useful tree. The timber is very soft and used in manufacture of matchsticks. The silk cotton is used for stuffing mattresses and pillows. The gum obtained from this tree is known as moiras and is medicinally very important in Ayurveda. The young flowers, especially stamens, are eaten as vegetables. The bright colored, large, nectar filled flowers are very attractive to many birds like manas, rosy pastors, crows, and sunbirds. The flowers are thought to be pollinated by bats as well. This tree provides food to the lava of chestnut streak sailor butterfly. In this way, this tree plays a very important role in the food chain and the food web of the terrestrial ecosystem. Due to development pressure, the silk cotton tree is becoming rare in cities. Mango is a very common avenue tree in India. It is also planted in gardens. Mango trees are found wild or cultivated all over the peninsula region from the lower slopes of Himalayas in the north to Cape Comorin in the south. The mango is a semi-evergreen large tree with spreading branches 6 to 15 meters high though in dense jungles it often attains gigantic sizes over 30 meters. Mango leaves are alternately inserted on the branches. They are 12 to 30 centimeters long, 3 to 9 centimeters broad, lance head shaped, tapering at both the apex and the base. The edges are somewhat wavy and leaf stalk 1 to 5 cm long. Flowers are small and appear in large bunches known as mor or bor. The fruit is technically called a droop. A droop is a fleshy fruit with a large stony structure in the middle. The fruit is generally heart shaped. In Sanskrit literature, the mango is known as amr and rasala. In various Indian languages, it is known as Aam, Amb or Amba. The scientific name of mango is Mangifera indica, meaning the Indian mango bearing tree. In English, it is known as mango. This tree belongs to the family Anacardiaceae. The mango is considered as the king of fruits. Ripe fruits are squeezed and are used for sucking. Young fruits are sliced and pickled. From ripe mangoes, a delicious drink is made with milk and sugar, which is known as amras. On the other hand, unripe mangoes are used to prepare a salty drink, 
commonly known as panna. It is very popular in the summers. The wood is used as timber. The leaves are used for making toran, that is, leafy decorations hung over the main doors of the house during festivals like Diwali, the Shehra, etc. This tree is often infested with a partial stem parasite, Dendrophto fulcata, commonly known as Banda. This plant harms the mango and ultimately results in the death of the branch on which it grows. The ripe and unripe fruits are eaten by many herbivores like monkeys, squirrels, fruit bats and many birds. It is a feed plant of the barren butterfly. The common jezebel is also found in its vicinity due to the presence of dendrophto, which is its feed plant. The banyan tree is the most common tree planted along many of the roads in India. It may also be found near temples and shrines and in the grounds near villages. It is indigenous in the sub-Himalayan forests up to 1300 meters and some of the hill slopes in peninsular India. It does not grow in the shade. Banyan is an enormous tree, 20 to 35 meters high large, spreading, nearly evergreen. Aerial roots come out from the trunk and enter the ground to form new trunks, thus extending the growth indefinitely. The leaves are broadly oval in shape, leathery, 20 cm long, smooth and shining when old, deep green on the surface and somewhat pale green beneath. The flowers and fruits are inconspicuous, very minute, being held together in the fig. The fig is not really the fruit, but a sort of pouch that contains hundreds of flowers and fruits inside it. Technically, the fig is a composite fruit consisting of large numbers of minute fruits. At first, it is green and hard, but when it matures, it turns red and soft in texture. The aerial roots of the banyan are its characteristic feature and are known as prop roots. Initially, they are like pink cotton threads and start thickening once they reach the ground. Once anchored, they grow rapidly, becoming massive props to the overhead branches. Due to these branches, the banyan produces specimens of unbelievable spread and age such as the Great Banyan Tree in Botanical Garden of Calcutta, which is roughly around 235 years old. The English name Banyan Tree seems to have been given by Europeans in the Persian Gulf to a particular tree of this species, under which it was believed that the Banyas or Indian merchants assembled to worship and for business. Gradually, this name spread to other parts of the world to become its common English name. In Hindi, it is known as Bard or Bargat. Botanically, it is known as Ficus bengalensis and belongs to the family Moresi. The banyan is a very important medicinal plant. Its latex is applied to bruises and cracked soles of the feet and to relieve rheumatic pains. An infusion of the bark is drunk as a tonic. The red tips of young aerial roots are eaten to cure obstinate vomiting. The tree is worshipped by Hindus. It is customary to bury a silver coin under the roots of a young banyan. The leaves are good fodder and are specially loved by elephants. Goats also cherish the leaves. The ripe figs are eaten by many birds, bats and monkeys. Birds are known to disperse the seeds through their droppings. Birds eat them and the seeds grow better for having passed through them. If the seeds drop on any other tree, they grow there as epiphytes and cause much damage to the host acting like a strangler. Sometimes the host tree dies due to heavy infestation.
the pollination of the fig is done by a special type of fig wasp. This is a very good example of mutualistic relationship. The wasp and the tree are made for each other. The larva of the common crow butterfly and the common map butterfly feed on its leaves. So, one can see these butterflies around banyan trees. The tree provides shade from the burning sun in the hotter parts of the country. It functions like a natural air conditioner running on the energy received from the sun. The golden shower is a native of India. It is found throughout the deciduous forests, plains and up to the foothills of Himalayas. It is a medium-sized tree reaching a height of 6 to 15 meters. The trunk is short. The leaves are dark green in color, compound. Each leaf consists of 4 to 8 pairs of leaflets. All leaves are shed during the month of March to May. Fresh leaves are often rich copper in color. The golden shower flowers during the leafless period. Flowers appear in long, drooping racemes. Each flower is bright yellow in color. The tree is most conspicuous in the hot months due to the long, golden yellow, pendant-like flowers which look like a shower, giving the tree its name, golden shower. Fruits are 50 to 60 centimeters long and 2 to 2.5 centimeters thick, black in color when ripe. The fruits are one of the most striking sights on the hills. The golden shar is one of the most beautiful indigenous trees in India. It is very popular all over the country for roadsides and gardens. In the wild, the golden shar is common in most parts of peninsular India. The English name Indian laburnum has been given to the golden shar because of its similarity in color and profusion of the flower with the European laburnum. In Mumbai, laburnum road was so named because of the double rows of this tree. In Hindi, it is known as Amaltas. Its scientific name is Cassia fistula. Cassia is the old Greek name of Dioscorides or the wild cinnamon while fistula in Latin means pipe, referring to the shape of the pods. It is also known as the pudding pipe tree. The tree belongs to the family Cicilpiniaceae. The golden shower is very decorative and planted along roadsides and in gardens for its large and showy flowers. The wood is hard and is used in making carts and agricultural implements. The bark is used for tanning. The dark brown, sweetish pulp of the pod is laxative and is used as a medicine. The Santhal tribe in Bihar uses its flowers as vegetables. The leaves are the preferred food for the lava of the common emigrant butterfly. On account of its medicinal properties, the Amaltas suffers persecution in many parts of the country. Due to removal of its bark, unsightly blisters appear on its trunk, which makes the tree a sorry sight. The flowers are visited by bees for collection of nectar. The pods are eaten by monkeys. Research by ecologists in India indicates that the tree is very sensitive to air pollution. Injury symptoms appear on leaves in the form of marginal necrosis and flecking. The large leaves help in controlling air pollution on roadsides. The gold mohar tree is the most showy and common roadside and avenue tree all over peninsular India. It is a medium sized tree, 5 to 10 meters tall. The size depends on the age of the tree and the soil on which it is growing. The leaves are twice feathered and very elegant. They are light green in color. Each leaf may reach up to 50 centimeters in length. The leaves are compound. Each leaf consists of 10 to 20 side stalks. 
Each side stalk bears up to 30 pairs of small leaves, also called pinna or leaflets. Gold moha is a deciduous tree. All the leaves fall off just before the flowering season, about the middle of February. When the tree is completely bare of leaves, flowers emerge in large numbers. At the time, the tree appears like the fire tree. The flowers are arranged in large raceme at the end of branches. Each flower is about 10 to 12 cm across and consists of four bright scarlet petals, with the fifth or standard petal being slightly larger in size and variegated in red and yellow colors. The fruit is a large pot, which is green when young, but becomes deep brown and very hard when it matures. Each pod is 50 cm long and 5 to 8 cm broad and contains about 80 to 100 seeds. The seeds are oblong and mottled. The Hindi name Gulmoha appears to be a corruption of gold moha since the petals look like gold coins. The scientific name is Delonyx regia. Delonyx means with a clear claw or nail, referring to the shape of the petal particularly the large fifth petal. In Latin, regia means royal. At times, the tree is also wrongly called the flame of the forest, though it is actually known as the fire tree. The tree is grouped under the family Cisulpiniaceae. The Gul Moha tree is native of Madagascar, but is now one of the most extensively cultivated trees in tropical and subtropical climates worldwide on account of its beautiful flowers. It is now one of the most common avenue trees in India. The gold moha tree is primarily a decorative tree. Its flowers are attractive to young and old alike. The flowers are slightly sour in taste. They are eaten by the children. The gold moha tree has a shallow root system and is not capable of withstanding too much of wind. The ground beneath the tree often becomes bare because its surface roots monopolize all nutrients and water. The leaves provide food to the larvae of the common Nawab butterfly. The flowers are visited by many birds, especially sunbirds. The tree is sensitive to the harmful effects of air pollution.